all need to get started with quail? Well, if you've wondered that yourself, we're going to show you today. Hi, I'm Brandon. And I'm Kristen. And we're from Whiskey Tango Farms. Today we're going to go over some of the basic needs for getting started with Katrina's quail, whether you're raising them for self-sufficiency, uh, eggs, meat, or just because you like how pretty the birds are. Um, we're going to show you some inexpensive options or um, some more expensive, depending on how serious you want to be. Yeah, there's different levels of elaborateness. Yeah. You can definitely be uh, very basic and start very small and then you can grow up. Um, you don't need a whole lot to get started. So we're going to get into some of the real basic items um, when you start with chicks and what you need for getting started with chicks and then we'll work our way up. For starters, you're going to need to decide if you want to start with live birds or eggs. Here at Whiskey Tinkle Farms we do offer hatching eggs and we do ship nationwide as well as local pickup. As far as live birds, we do also offer local pickup on those for chicks, grow outs, adults, breeder sets, etc. Um, depending on what you start with, if you're going to start with eggs or chicks, um, you are going to need a couple small extra things to get started for those. You're going to need a brooder, and brooders can be as simple as um, totes, Sterilite totes, or whatever. They tote brand you have at any um, department store walmart or whatever local big box store you have um so it can be something like this uh you want to store your chicks about six per square foot when they're um a week two weeks old uh by week two you're gonna want to put some kind of lid or use the lid that the um tote came with and just poke some holes in it so they get some air to breathe. We really like using the clear tote. Um, it's fun to be able to see the quail. It's easier to check in on them. Um, it's fun for the kids and the adults and even our cat Moonshine likes watching quail TV um, pretty often and sometimes he'll even crawl in there and cuddle with them and even go as far as to groom them. If you are looking um, at some other tips to setting up a brooder um, please check out this video here. We'll link it above um, and we'll go over some more detail of what you should all include in your brooder. But we just wanted to give a quick example of something that you could use that's very easy to get your hands on to get started. It doesn't have to be complicated. So whether um, you go with the basic setup with just a tote or if you want to get into a more serious um, option, more permanent option, um, you can go to dalesquails.com and he sells brooders that have a wire bottom and they work great. Uh, they're a little larger and can support more chicks. So if you decide to start hatching out your own or if you did hatch out your own and you hatched out, you know, 50 to 100 chicks, um, he has brooders for that size. Um, so you're going to want to go check um, Dale's quails out for that. Uh, otherwise, um, rather you get a Dale's quails brooder or a tote, you are going to need a lamp. Um, like we said uh, before, I'll, all the details for brooding and everything is going to be in the video um, link up here. It's definitely really, really easy getting your hands on one of these heat lamps. There are some other options for heating that we go over in that brooder video, um, but we felt like this was worth noting in case you're looking to kind of get started in a hurry um, because these can be found at many big box and department stores and super easy and affordable to get your hands on to get started. All right, whether you um, got your quail as teenagers or adults or they're you know a few weeks old um you're gonna need a cage uh, you can either build a cage yourself um, they're pretty easy get yourself some half inch hardware cloth um, and use for a floor and sides um, you can build them out of wood uh, you can build them out of all wire i've seen people build them out of shelving units um, so you can do you know get creative um, there are commercial available options out there and um, lesser expensive options as well. So Dale's Quails has a one tier um, cage and that will get you into quail and have enough for you for meat and eggs for a family of four. Um, pretty easy. Uh, it holds about 18 to 20 quail. Uh, Wynola Ranch also has another option as well um, for around 100 bucks. 
and we'll hold about 15 quail in that one. It's about 22 inch cage. I'll have uh, links below in the um, description for the cages that I'm talking about. If you got a cage from Dale or Wynola Ranch, if that's the way you decided to go, they're both great companies, family owned companies, uh, made in America, and they're wonderful people to work with. There are also two other options for keeping your adult quail. Um, there is hatching time as well as GQF. So feel free to check those out as well so you can decide which setup is best for you. Uh, the cages we do recommend because we have had experience with them are Dale's Quails and Winola Ranch. Um, if you like wood cages, Dale makes um, good wood cages, or if you prefer a metal cage, uh, Winola Ranch makes good cages. I can't speak on um, the GQF ones. Uh, those are metal, but I haven't used them. I, I do like the Winola Ranch ones myself, but they, like I said, Dale's or Winola Ranch um, cages are very good, and I recommend them if you don't want to build yourself. Those two options are some of the ones that we've had the most success with here and work the best for our setup. We greatly value other people's reviews and input, so we hope that our input will maybe help you decide what might work best for you. Um, overall, we just want to make sure that you are keeping quail successfully and in the most economical um, way possible for your setup and your farm and your needs. Uh, real quick, we'll go over um, basic nutrition and what to feed um, your quail. I'll talk about uh, chicks real quick. Um, from day one when you get your chicks or when they hatch and you take them out of the incubator, you're going to want to feed them a high protein feed. So you're going to want to do a 26 to 30% protein game bird, game bird starter um, and keep it around that protein level. Uh, we do a 28% that's what we have available um, for us uh, just a 28% crumble um, we do not recommend grinding the feed at all uh, for your uh, younger um, quail that can cause issues um, with them but uh, you're gonna want to feed that up to um, eight ten weeks uh, we find best to do it to the eight week mark and you're gonna want to start transitioning that feed at the six, seven week mark. Like Brandon said, um, once you reach the eight week mark, you're gonna want to have them on the adult feed. Um, and then like he said, you're gonna want to start transitioning them. So maybe mixing half and half around the six to seven week mark. Um, you only really need 17 to 22% protein. Um, the big key for these birds is going to be the calcium. You're going to aim for two and a half to three and a half percent calcium for them making their eggshells, which is generally why you start transitioning them around the six to seven week mark, um, because that's when they typically start laying eggs, um, which is really quick compared to chickens. A question we get asked often as well is if you should do crumble or pellets. We do know several other folks that have mini pellets for their quail and they do just fine on it. Here at Whiskey Tango Farms we use crumble and haven't found any need to switch to anything different so that's just what we know of. Know of. If you do decide to feed your quail pellets, we do recommend that you keep an eye on them and make sure that they are actually eating it because the last thing you want is them to starve because they're not used to or they don't like the pellet, they can't consume them. Some quail seem to be a little more picky than others, so just make sure you keep an eye on them. Um, there are several places that you can get your feed. Uh, you can get them from like a tractor supply or a farm store near you. Um, just check those places out. Another good place is a feed mill. Um, you can get a bulk order of feed um, sometimes or custom blends there. You just need to ask them and um, work with them. Uh, we have found that going to the female obviously is the cheapest route. Um, you cut out the middleman. So that's what we do and we've been very happy with it. We also just want to make note that you may find a lot of benefit from speaking to one of the folks at the mills. They're very, very knowledgeable and if you tell them what you're wanting food for and the certain percentages you're looking for, um, they would probably be able to make some recommendations and you might even learn a thing or two from them. So definitely don't be afraid to ask. We hope what uh, you watched in this video you found beneficial and um, learned something to help you get started with the basic needs of quail. and. 
We hope you enjoy the process. If you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out. Uh, our contact info is below in the description, as well as we do lives every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central. So you can come ask questions about um, quail or homesteading, rabbits, anything really in general. We do a very casual talk, but um, hit the like button, share this video. We really appreciate if you did that for us. Again, if you want more details in what you need and how we go over our brooding process and what we recommend for it, you can click the video right here. Thanks again. Blessings.